Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today's reading is going to focus on a third party situation. So, I guess this is for those of you that are, um, you know, that find yourself in a third party situation. We'll see exactly what the outcome of your situation will be, whether your person here or yourself is willing to drop the third party um, and what will happen moving forward. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here, where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. So the two of swords here, there is a, a lot of blockages here around your connection here. Okay, I'm also seeing that there is something here that you're not seeing. Maybe some of you aren't necessarily aware that you are in a third party situation. Um, or I feel like there is something here that you're missing by the uh, looks of things. Maybe you don't have all the information here about your particular situation and about your specific romantic energy maybe they're not necessarily being entirely honest with you about you know their situation or about their intentions for you and your connection here but with the two of swords i definitely feel like there is some sort of blockages here and i'm also seeing that someone here is having a hard time deciding what they should do going forward because it's not so simple it's not so black and white i feel like you know, if this is your person and they're in a third party situation, they have feelings for you. And then they also have feelings for their partner or, you know, their husband, their wife, whoever it is that they feel themselves attached to. Because it feels like one person here, which might be you, might represent the future and all the prospects that the future might hold. And then they have, you know, their partner here who is their past, essentially whom this is someone that they've built up and established a life and a connection with and, you know, possibly have settled down and have children and they have history and it's not easy to leave that behind. It's security, it's stability, it's a life, it's familiarity and I feel like your person is having a hard time choosing here. So, uh, the Two of Swords, I don't know that... I don't know that, you know, someone here is in a position to make a decision because even if they do, I feel like they could potentially go back on it purely because it's this undecided kind of energy. So, you know, if you're hoping that your person might drop the third party situation and might choose you in the end, I don't think they're as decisive as you would want them to be here. And the Two of Swords also indicates that you are facing a challenging situation or, or um, a challenging decision here. This is also avoidance, guys. I feel like your person might be delaying making a decision. They might keep promising you things that they never deliver on. They might keep promising you that they'll leave the third party situation for you or that they'll choose you in the end. But notice how they're never truly fulfilling their promises here. I'm also seeing that you are missing relevant information or someone here is missing relevant information in making a decision here, uh, an informed decision. And I feel like if you, if this is you, and if you were to obtain this information, it would make this decision, you know, whether it's staying in this third party situation or eventually moving on from them, would, it would make that decision so much more easier for you, as well as clearer. Because right now, it just feels like there isn't, you know, there's something you're not seeing here, there isn't. And that's because maybe you aren't being told the truth here. Maybe your person is not being entirely honest with you here. Okay, you do have the high priestess and they might have, there may be some secrets that they're not sharing with you. They may not be telling you, you know, what their true intentions are for you and for the future of this connection here. You've got the moon here that's appeared twice. You've got the moon and you also have the sun. The moon represents, you know, it goes through cycles of growth and decline here. And I feel like this is symbolic of your connection with one another. 
there are stages where, and I don't know if this, this is at the earliest stages of the connection, but when the two of you have really grown together and your feelings for one another have grown, and then all of a sudden you may have reached a bit of a stagnated stage where feelings aren't necessarily getting any stronger and the connection might be a little bit stagnated and if something is not growing essentially it is dying so it just feels like your connection here is going through stages and I feel like the reason why is because I feel like there's you know someone here is in two minds about whom it is that they want or what it is that they should do about this situation. There may also be other people involved here. There may be children involved here or other connecting energies here. And they're scared to, not only does it mean, like, you know, when you have to make a choice or a decision, you're not only committing to that choice or decision, you're also committing to the consequences of it. And they're scared that if they do go ahead and drop the third party for you, you know, it's not only... Their consequences won't only affect them, it'll affect you and connecting energies around them. So their partner and possibly children, I'm getting that there are some children involved or they're thinking about children, having children in the future as well. That's something that they want and that's something I feel like that they're holding on to and they're a little bit uncertain if they can have that here with you here. I also feel like they're scared to make a choice or they're scared to make a decision with, with regards to this third party situation because essentially it would having to it would mean having to start all over again having to even though the two of you have history with one another and even though you know the two of you have you share a connection and you've created memories but for them it would mean that they have to leave behind the life that they've built up okay that the job it would mean that their reputation career wise would be affected it would mean that their reputation in their community their family circle their circle of friends would be affected here they they worry they worry how they come across they worry if their reputation here is going to be jeopardized they're worried about their security and their stability not only in the financial sense but also how it would affect them from day to, you know in the day to life in the day to day sense as well so i feel like your person here is scared because they would have to step outside of the comfort zone and leave behind what they've built up, what they've set up, what is familiar, what is comfortable, what was essentially their territory here. So it's, it's, it's a scary decision. I don't know that your person is prepared to make this decision because I feel like they're in two minds here and it's not fair to you because you're sort of sitting on the fence with them. Yeah, they say they, you know, they have feelings for you or they say they love you and they, they may say that they want a future with you, but then their actions contradict that or contradict that, sorry, or their actions say otherwise. I feel like there is all, there's always going to be this imbalance to the connection. I do feel like someone is going to get the rainbow at the end of the storm. I don't know if it's going to be you though. Hard to say. It just feels like there's this imbalance there's a lack of equilibrium and it just feels like it's a little bit crowded in this connection that's what it feels like and i feel like your person is trying to not only make up like yes they want to make their decision but they want to make it from a place of heart and head as well so use their intellect as well as their intuition going forward and i feel like there's just too much it, to them it feels like there's just too much at stake for them to just leave the life that they've set up for themselves it would just mean starting over i don't know that your person is prepared to do this i also feel like you don't have all the information at hand that you don't know you don't really know who this person is or you don't really know what they want because they refuse to share it with you or because you purposely and willfully do not see this okay the blindfold tea wrapped around her eyes that is intentional so maybe you deliberately choose to, willfully choose to ignore certain negative aspects about them and, and you know the situation or maybe just maybe this is someone who is keeping this who's keeping certain information and secrets from you here that i feel like you definitely would benefit from all right guys and these are your messages so thank you as always for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel thanks guys again for those of you after a personal reading feel free to connect otherwise bye for now